Would you please find your way to the 8th chapter of the book of Romans? We are looking this morning at the last three verses of this chapter, which believed by many, myself included, and many of you, one of the most precious chapters in the book, the Bible itself, the 8th chapter. We'll be finishing up with the last three verses this morning. Again, I remind you that this is the Word of God, so give attention, give ear. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's pray. Our Father, we ask your blessings upon your word again this Lord's Day morning. We recognize our own frailties, our own difficulties, how that we often hear what's not been said, how that we often believe we understand the text and don't. We are a needy people. We need that your spirit should instruct us, not only that we might understand what is being said, but that we might be changed by it made more into the image of Christ by it. We pray for your help in this matter. We ask in the name of Christ. Amen. In the church world that I grew up in, it would not be uncommon to come to a text like this particular text and have the minister say something along the lines of, well, this text will preach. Now, we know that any text will preach, and that was not necessarily what they were saying, that this was a text somehow different than the others, but